I have been searching for a good and lasting nitrocellulose free clear polish or a base coat and top coat that do not peel right away because there are some base coats and top coats that are nitrocellulose free on the market but they tend to yeah not last they tend to be very fragile so one of our viewers urged me to try the Mavala Barrier base, which is also nitro cellulose free and it has interesting formula. So it's water based like Dazzle Dry, but all the other components are different. So it's not like a dupe for Dazzle Dry base coat. And why nitro cellulose free? Not because it's a bad chemical or anything like that. It's just because I suspect that nitrocellulose can yellow the nails. Personally, I only wear clear nail polish and with regular polish, for example, like the Dior Nail Glow or even just, yeah, regular clear polish, after a while, my nails start to look a little yellow, kind of dingy and dirty looking. And trust me, I get a lot of comments on the, on the channel about that. By the way, because I get a lot of uh, people asking that, using just the nitrocellulose free base coat and then putting the color coats that do contain nitrocellulose, it doesn't seem to protect the nails from yellowing. And why? Because the base coat is applied thin. So you're not applying like seven layers of base coat. So it's not like an armor that nothing can penetrate. And all polishes are very porous. And we know that because acetone can very easily penetrate them and remove it. So they almost, once they dry, they almost create like a mesh of plastic. So if the nitrocellulose from the color coat breaks down, it can liberate nitric acid apparently, which this is how I understand the chemist from Dazzle Dry, uh, Vivian Valenti was explaining. I will link the article in the description box so you can read it, which that that nitric acid can apparently pass through the base coat and still yellow the nails. So that doesn't work. And why not just Dazzle Dry, obviously, right? Well, because Dazzle Dry is not available here in, in EU and they don't even ship here. So many, many of my viewers were asking or looking for a substitution. This led me to the Mavala Barrier Base because all the other of their polishes do contain nitrocellulose. And I'm going to test it and post the results and also share quickly what failed terribly with my first manicure um, that I did using the Mavala Base Barrier Base. So the polish itself is quite milky and quite thin, so it doesn't feel like a regular nail polish. During the application, it looks a bit milky, actually it looks very nice, but it dries clear and it dries shiny and it dries not sticky. So, of course, I got excited because I figured, oh, maybe I can just use this in two coats without anything on top. So, this is what I did, and I went home. So, within an hour, of course, or two or something, the base coat became sticky, and it rubbed off, like it became really gummy. So, yeah, that was a fail. So, that was my first manicure. The second manicure failed as well, but I will explain later what happened. So it does need a top coat. It does need a polish or a top coat. So doing this manicure, my third manicure, my third attempt, I wiped my nails with 98% alcohol to clean them really well. So the application of this base coat has to be thin and even. And I recommend applying it on four nails, letting it settle and dry for like two, three minutes, and then applying it on the thumb keeping the thumb flat for two to three minutes. Yes, it does seem like a bit of work, but who knows, could be worth it. Well, we'll test it. And at the end of the video, I will show you what happened when I applied a tiny, tiny bit thicker, the base coat in a bit of a thicker layer, and I did not keep the nails flat. I suggest applying top coat over this first hand and then doing your other hand next or second. So the top coat that I used is from Essence and it's wildly available here in European Union and it's quite cheap. They do have several top coats on the market and just be careful because companies tend to change their formulas sometimes. Sometimes they keep the original names so 
make sure before you buy that you check the label on their website for a current list of ingredients. If you are interested how this combination of polishes lasted, please comment below and I will make a then follow-up video answering all the questions that you might have as this is a very big interesting topic and there is so much to talk about and I don't want to be talking too much about this in this video. So the top coat dried I would say pretty smooth. I applied it thicker because it tends to be the top coat in the first video that I made a little went a little patchy when I applied it a little bit thinner. So I found that applying it a little bit thicker was better and this one in particular and dried pretty smooth in three to four minutes and now everything looks good. I will keep notes on how this lasts and I will report back in the follow-up video that I mentioned. So now what happened before? What was the fail? Well, I ended up with these really ugly white patches when the polish dried and here's what happened. I know what happened. So when the base coat is applied just tiny, tiny bit thicker, it tends to pull. It tends to move a little bit, especially I think when you move your hand. So that area will dry thicker. And although the polish feels dry and looks clear, once I applied the top coat on, the base coat in some areas turned white and those areas were also a bit bumpy. So you could see that there was more product in that area. So I recommend just if you're trying this base coat, it does not work like regular base coats. So play with it, have some patience. So again, please let me know in the comment section if you have questions, if you've maybe tried this, who knows, you might have tried it. Let me know what your experience is with, with this product. And if you have any questions, I will answer them in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye.